Welcome one and all to Kigolazo Smash Like and Subscribe as we take another trip down World Cup memory lane. Vamos! They say that history is written by the victors, that no one remembers who finished in second place, and in the passing of time, that mostly rings true. However, there are exceptions to every rule. Those 300 Spartans are heralded to this day despite losing to the Persians, and the losers became the heroes at the Battle of the Alamo. The history of soccer is littered with nearly rants, excellent teams that couldn't quite get over the finish line and taste true glory. And as we continue with our World Cup series on Keo Lasso today, we kick off a fantastic two-part episode where we pay homage to those teams that flummoxed opponents and dazzled spectators, but for whatever reasons were unable to lift the trophy. So without further ado, I present to you the 10 greatest teams that failed to win the World Cup, part one. Austria, 1934. Known as the Wunder team, led by Hugo Meisel, this national team dominated in the early 30s, going unbeaten from April 1931 until December 1932. As the team developed, they went on another great run leading up to the World Cup in 1934 and entered the competition as the favorites. They played entertaining, fast-paced football with a focus on attack. One of the earliest examples of how the game would develop into the future. They beat France and Hungary and met the host Italy in the semi-finals, but lost to a controversial one nothing. Poor weather conditions didn't help, but the referee, who reportedly made a lot of mistakes, was thought to be pressured as fascist dictator Benito Mussolini wanted to ensure an Italian win on home soil. Brazil, 1950. Brazil built the Maracanã specifically for these finals, hoping their uber-talent team would lift their country's first ever World Cup trophy. They destroyed Sweden and then Spain, 7-1 and 6-1 respectively, and only needing a draw against Uruguay in the final rounds to become champions. And nearly 200,000 spectators cramped inside the famous Brazilian stadium, thinking their stars such as Ademir, the tournament's top scorer, Jair and Cizinho would be victorious. But after 1-0, Uruguay's Alcides Gigia broke Brazilian hearts by scoring in the 79th minute. He would become the only player in tournament's history to score in every single game, and Brazil left empty-handed. Hungary, 1954. This might be the pick of the lot. Hungary, the golden team known as the Mighty Magyars, were the undoubted favorites to win the trophy in Switzerland. Five years leading into that World Cup, they were 36 official matches undefeated. 36 without losing a single game. They were Olympic champions and winners of the Central European International Cup in 1953. In that same year, they made history by destroying England 6-3 at Wembley. It was the first time where a country outside of the UK and Ireland defeated England on home soil. So with a team full of stars led by Frank Pushkas, an innovative system, they were surely going to win it all. They faced West Germany in the finals and unfortunately awful weather conditions did not help their cause. In addition, Adidas gave the Germans cleats with studs, so that helped the Germans a lot. And all in all, everything went against Hungary in the final, and despite a 2-0 lead in the first 10 minutes of that game, they lost 3-2 in a ridiculous affair. France, 1958. Yes, this was the World Cup that gave Brazil its first title and introduced a 17-year-old Pele to the global stage. So due to Brazil's historic run, we forget about this French team who were fantastic led by the enigmatic Just Fontaine, who scored 13 goals in six matches, a record which I think will never be beaten. But this side was full of talent and flair, and most importantly, they were young. Only four players were over the age of 30. Fontaine aside, there was Raymond Copa, who had just signed for Real Madrid, and this was the highest scoring team in the competition with 15 goals. The problem is they conceded a lot. And in the end, that was the thorn in their side. And Brazil took full advantage in the semifinals, winning 5-2. Pelé scored a hat-trick in just over 20 minutes in the second half. Regardless, this French team, young and ambitious, delivered one of the best attacking performances the World Cup Finals has ever seen. 
Portugal, 1966. When we talk about Portugal in the 60s, we only think about one man, Eusebio. But this team was more than their Mozambique-born Portuguese star. They had great players, although thanks to the majestic Benfica, who were a force in that era. In this edition, hosted by England, the eventual champion Portugal beat Pele's Brazil 3-1 a very good Hungarian team, and came back from three goals down to defeat North Korea in the quarterfinals. In the semifinals, they faced the mighty England, and a change of schedule rattled them slightly. They lost 2-1. Eusebio won the golden boot with nine goals, but sadly for Portugal, this loss affected them so much. They didn't make it to another World Cup until 1986. What do you think, Kegolasso family? Am I missing any teams? Remember, I did this part one in chronological order. Part two will continue this journey on the 10 best national teams that never won the World Cup. Hit us up on the comments, tweet us, Kegolasso pod on Twitter, of course, to let us know what you think of this World Cup series. Part two coming very shortly, but don't forget to follow us on CBS Sports and your CBS Sports app, youtube.com forward slash Kegolasso.